Christmas, everybody. Hi guys, happy December 19th. I'm about to head out on my road trip. I don't know, I wanna call it a road trip, but I'm not driving. I'm just gonna be in a train and in a bus for an absurd amount of time. I'm loving the hair, BT Dubs. I straightened it and just made it like nice today and I just love how it feels and I like how it looks and clearly it looks fake. Like, you, I don't even know what color this is. Is it red? Is it purple? I don't know. And it doesn't match my eyebrows, but it's okay. I still love it. So this is a change, but I like it and I'm gonna roll with it. So yeah, this is probably gonna be my last talking clip for a while. I'm gonna try to get some nice montage worthy travel clips i don't know how that's gonna go but in about five seconds you will find out so enjoy the rest of this vlog and i will talk to you guys when i'm in iowa probably peace out hello everybody i have made it to des moines iowa i don't really know how i got here because i just had the worst day of travels in my entire life but don't you worry i'm gonna tell you all about it in a fabulous story time i feel like i don't have a voice right now and I'm also trying to be sort of subdued and quiet because I'm in my sister's house and she is sleeping because she is, has work and stuff and she's a real person. Yeah, literally don't have a voice already. So without prolonging this, let's just dive into my day of travels. This all starts 10.20 this morning when you probably saw the last clip. By the way, I did not get any travel montage footage. LOL, like I was ever going to do that. Um, so 10.20 a.m., I get on my Metra. And I go into the city of Chicago, and it's on time, and it's perfect, just like always. So around 11.40, I arrive in Chicago, and I have to go find the Megabus station. It, it's just like a bus stop on the side of the road. It's not a real building, just a bus stop. So I work my way around Union Station, can't find Canal Street. Eventually, I do find Canal Street, and I go there, and then I'm walking, and my sister told me, oh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts right by the bus stop, so just go in there and wait until your bus comes. I'm like, perfect. I go into Dunkin' Donuts, I order a nice breakfast sandwich and a small coffee, and the cashier says to me, you know, if you're waiting for the mega bus, you actually have to go down two more blocks to Polk Street. It's, the stop isn't here. And I'm like, okay, thank you, sir. Wow, that's so kind of you. I did not know that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't want you to be late, so you're welcome. So he was very kind, and he gave me my food, and I sat in that Dunkin' Donuts for like an hour or an hour and a half just on my laptop, passing time. Next, I head on out to the bathroom to use it before my long travels. And while I'm in there, the lights turn off on me. Don't know how, but there I was, just pitch black, bathroom, Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what's happening. Around this time, I arrive at the mega bus stop. I had walked the couple of blocks that I had to with my suitcase in the snow. It was not enjoyable. And I see a large group of people on the street. So I'm like, hey, those are probably my people. I got to go wait by. Uh, but these were not all Iowa people. There were people there that were waiting for a bus from Ann Arbor and Detroit, Michigan area. Um, and their bus was an hour late or an hour plus and people were like on their phones calling and complaining and like We're supposed to go to Ann Arbor and it's an hour late blah 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 and I'm standing there like oh my god I feel so bad for you. I don't know how you've been standing out here for an hour So then two o'clock hits and two o'clock was my magic time that the bus to Des Moines was supposed to come It was going to Iowa City and Des Moines. So a couple of the people I was talking to Iowa City some people Des Moines I I'm in Des Moines right now, so that's what I was waiting for. And 2 o'clock hits, and there's no bus. Even the Ann Arbor bus still is not there. The Des Moines bus, not there. So there's just a ton of people on the street right now. Very cold and very angry. Around 2.15 maybe, the Ann Arbor bus comes. So like, half of the group goes onto that bus, and we're like, bye, have fun, glad your bus came. However, our bus is still not here and is nowhere to be seen. Around this time, I did strike up a conversation with a very nice man. I don't know what his name is, did not ask for his name, but here's what I learned about him. He had just flown into Chicago from Mexico because he teaches English to kids in Mexico, apparently. So he's used to a very warm climate down there. And he was standing next to me with jeans, sneakers, and just like a hoodie. And that's all he had. And I'm over here in <laughs> my scarf and my hat and my hood and my winter coat and my boots. And I'm looking at him like, I'm freezing like this. I don't know what you're going through, sir. So we chatted about life and where we're going and why we're going to Iowa and what are we doing with our lives. So that was just a nice little way to pass the time. But I don't know what his name was. 
around this time, everyone's very angry. We're all complaining. We're all talking to each other. Like, I'm a very antisocial person and I don't talk to people, but because everyone was just so angry that this bus was an hour late, we were just like, complaining to each other. I couldn't feel my toes at this point. I thought they were going to fall off. I honestly thought I was a goner and every part of me was just so cold and shivering. I could not stop shivering. But I mean, that's what happens when you're standing outside in the cold from 1.30 until 2.50 p.m. in, I don't even know what the, what the temperature was, but I'm pretty sure the wind chill was below zero and we were all just standing out there. Now at this magic time, the bus arrives. It is here. Of course it stops like at the end of the street because there's a car in the way. So it stops down there and refuses to pull up. So we all walk down there and then the car drives away and then it pulls up. So we <laughs> follow it back this way. So then it's just stopped there forever and the driver isn't coming out of the bus and we don't know why. Like we're all standing there with our luggage waiting for him to open the back of the bus so we can put our luggage in and we're standing there for maybe 10 minutes and he's just not exiting the bus. Eventually he does, eventually I show him my ticket, and I go up on the bus, and I sit down in a nice window seat by myself, I'm like, oh, I made it, I'm trying to defrost. And then, a couple comes up to me and they're like, oh, we have these two seats reserved, would you mind moving? And I'm like, okay, first of all, I didn't know you could reserve on a megabus, you're taking a megabus, why are you reserving your seat? But, I politely said, sure. And I got up and I went and sat next to some random lady so I didn't have a seat by myself and she didn't have a row by herself either so I felt kind of bad but what are you gonna do? We're doing okay for a little bit and then it's time for the first stop so we stop at a bus at a bus stop no we don't we stop at a uh, gas station <laughs> and he's like this is 550 he's like be back on the bus by 620 so I get off go to the bathroom buy some snacks get back on 620 passes we're not moving we don't move until 6.40. What? I don't know what he was doing. I don't know why it was necessary for him to be at that stop for that long, but that's, that's what happened. Things are pretty smooth sailing, and then we stop at Iowa City. So pretty much half the people got off, and then there was an open row that I glimpsed like out of the corner of my eye, so I didn't even say anything to the lady I was next to. I just picked up my stuff, went to the open row, and sat down and enjoyed the alone time in my own row. At this point, I really start questioning my existence and wondering, like, have I been on this bus my entire life or am I imagining this? And then 11.30 hits and we pull into Des Moines and I, in a slightly delusional state, cry tears of joy. No, I didn't cry. I'm kidding. But I'm very happy that I made it. Okay, I'm talking too long. Clearly my camera is cutting me off. But I was supposed to be here at 9 and it's 11.30. Or, well, now it's not 11.30. Now it's 12.09 because, you know, had to come to the house and get settled and everything. So that was my um, travel saga story. I hope you liked it. I didn't like it. Be careful if you go on a megabus because it could be reliable, but also it could not. So you get what you pay for. And that's it for today's vlog. I mean, tomorrow's going to be much more interesting because I'm here and um, we're going to do cool stuff maybe. So... I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this and see you then.